Hello everybody, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Billy Burnett and welcome to my first tutorial on this brand new YouTube channel. If you're interested in learning about a wide range of alternative music from production to playing techniques and a whole lot of other stuff, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content in the future. Now that shit's out of the way, let's crack on with today's lesson, tremolo picking. Tremolo picking is essentially really fast alternative picking. So most of you out there probably use alternative picking already. If you don't, and you just down pick or up pick, stop doing that and start alternative picking, it will change your guitar, hit life forever. Um, but when we're doing something obviously extremely fast, we have to change our technique and our approach to it a little bit. Um, so let's check out the example. Um, we've got all the tabs and everything for this, so you can learn this as we're going along after we've learned the technique. So we'll check that out, then we'll come back and we'll break down how we do this as opposed to alternative picking. So, that was the example, um, all the tabs are available in the description somewhere down here, so make sure you get those. If you've got Guitar Pro as well, which if you don't, I would advise go and get it, because it's an amazing tool for you to use, um, all the Guitar Pro tabs are in there as well. Um, so, the first thing that helped me when I was learning to tremolo pick um, was actually the plectrum that I used. Um, obviously we're in England, so we've got plectrum and not a pick even though we refer to all the picking techniques as picking, don't ask. Um, so, the first thing that for me is very important is the type of plectrum that I use. Um, normal plectrums, and you can you can tremble pick with anything, but I love to use these here. I don't know if you can get the point of that on the camera. If not, then I'll do another separate shot of it. But yeah, I think that gets the point. So these plectrums, obviously with a sharper end, um, make it extremely, extremely easy um, to pick with just because they've got a sharper end so when you're trying to go fast you can get right on the end of the nib here and it's a lot quicker. I found myself when I started using these I think I went to see Iron Maiden and Trivium were supporting many, many years ago and Matt Heafy chucked his plectrum out and it was this shape and I'd never seen it before so I got some and it changed my game. So Type of plectrum is very important for me. Um, something else that is super, super important is as opposed to being down on this angle here, okay, when you're picking normally, we're going up and down, up and down here. What is important for me is when I twist, when I'm doing my tremolo picking, it's the same as like when you're shredding, okay, you just twist the plectrum slightly to this angle, and when you've got that twisted there, you know, the angle that that's coming down on the string is a lot finer, so it means that you can do it sharper. So two, two pluses, or two things that I could suggest that you look at, possibly, is a plectrum with a sharper nib at the end, and when we're actually applying the plectrum to the guitar, is to just twist it slightly, I'd probably say, at what, a 45 degree angle, maybe a little bit less, just whilst we're really, really going fast. Um, and yeah, two tips that I think could definitely help you. So although we've applied the tremolo picking technique here to old school death metal, fresh sort of crossover-y riff, um, other places you can hear this is um, in post-rock bands a lot, with a lot of reverb, even if you put the reverb at like 100%, and um, you get a nice soundscape um, with tremolo picking. Um, we hear it a lot in black metal, but more 
tremolo picked chords. So thank you for joining me today guys. Uh, if you enjoyed what you see, we've got loads more shit coming out. Um, lots of different techniques for guitar, drums, looking at electronic music and stuff like that as well. So if that does excite you, if that tickles your pickle, remember, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao for now.